Let us integrate Spark Streaming with Kafka. We'll publish the stream of Y using yes command to Kafka topic. Then Kafka streaming code will consume the stream of Y's from Kafka topic in the batch interval of 10 seconds. It then prints the number of Y's consumed in 10 seconds interval. Let us start. Open the gist in the new tab. Log in to the web console. Clone CloudX Lab Big Data Repository using the command highlighted in the gist. If you have already cloned the repository, then update it by running git pull origin master. Since I have already cloned the repository, I'll just update it. The code for word count is located inside spark slash examples slash streaming slash word count Kafka directory. Let us see the contents of build.sbd file. Here, we have specified Spark Streaming and Spark Streaming Kafka dependencies. Let us see the code in Kafka wordcount.scala. We have imported Kafka utils, which is already part of Spark Streaming package. We pass Zookeeper Quorum consumer group and topic as a command line argument. Here, Zookeeper Quorum helps in discovering Kafka brokers. Then, we create Spark context. App name is Kafka word count and the code will be run locally. Next, we create Spark streaming context from Spark context and specify with the batch interval as 10 seconds. Lines is a D stream which contains streams of records consumed from Kafka topic. Words D stream splits line into stream of words. Word count D stream contains the words and their count in 10 seconds interval. And then we print the word count on the screen. Let us build the jar using SBT. Copy the command highlighted in the gist and wait till build is complete. As you can see, the jar is created. Now run the jar using Spark Summit. Copy the command highlighted in the gist. Note that we specify the Spark Streaming Kafka assembly jar, which is already part of repository. You can download Spark Streaming Kafka Assembly Jar from Maven also. Note the command line arguments. Replace localhost with Zookeeper server host name. We will use a new topic for this hands on. Replace test1 with your new topic name. Spark Streaming Consumer Group is the consumer label. As discussed earlier, each stream of records in the topic will be delivered to only one consumer in Spark Streaming Consumer Group. Press Enter. Let's produce the messages using Kafka producer script. Log into Web Console in the new tab and include Kafka binaries in the path. Let us create a new topic.
Now push streams of Y in the Kafka topic, which gets consumed by Spark streaming code. Copy the command highlighted in the gist, replace localhost with the broker hostname, Also, replace test1 with your new topic name. Press enter. Now, switch to the console where Spark streaming code is running. As you can see that, the count of Y in 10 seconds interval gets printed on the screen. We are able to push data to Kafka and consume it using Spark Streaming. Now let's stop the producer.